Dean is a quirky historic village in Brighton, on the east coast of England. Since as early as Saxon times, there's been a settlement here, and it was once known as the Valley of the Rottest People. What I like about Rottendean is its history and the ghostly tales associated with it. In today's vlog, I'm going to talk about some of the weird and spooky stories connected to this picturesque village. The Raincoat Ghost The Rottingdean Club on the High Street is allegedly haunted by a raincoat wearing ghost. The club was run for many years by Di and Don Goodchild who claim that the ghost is of Hollywood actor Cary Grant. The actor was a frequent visitor to the club and even offered to purchase it a few times because he liked the place so much. Just after his death in 1986, his apparition was apparently seen in the bar. Could it be a publicity stunt? Who knows, but either way, members of the staff have reported seeing a grey haired man in a raincoat haunting the cellar area. The Black Prince In 1740, the Grange was a vicarage, but it was given its name in 1908 by the artist Sir William Nicholson, who lived there. The Grange Museum and Art Gallery is what it's known today. A former house once stood on the site and had allegedly been visited by Edward Woodstock, otherwise known the Black Prince. Legend has it that his spirit haunts the building and has been seen scrambling across the rooftops on dark stormy nights. A former waitress working at the tea garden claimed that whilst visiting the storeroom to the rear of the house she suddenly found herself enter an icy cold pocket of air and had an unsettling feeling that someone was watching her. Despite being all alone, she was so distressed that she quit her job. A priest from the nearby church of St. Margaret was called upon to conduct an exorcism to expel the spirit. The Grey Lady The old cottage tea rooms on the main street is reportedly haunted by the manifestation of a phantom Grey Lady known as Martha. The ghost has been seen in the garden and has also been seen on the staircase by various witnesses over the years. The Ye Old Black Horse Inn The Ye Old Black Horse is Rottingdean's oldest pub, dating as far back as 1513. It is well known to be haunted by full body apparitions, footsteps and moving objects footsteps and witchcraft. The Plough Inn on Vicarage Lane is known for being the pub haunted by loud footsteps at night. A strong uneasy presence has also been reported in one of the rooms. Built on the site of the village's earliest known settlement, the inn sits next to the village pond. The pond, which is now home to a family of ducks, was at one time used to seek out witches in the local area. Back in the 17th century, many suspected witches lost their lives here by the method of dunking, where the locals would fasten suspects to a chair and dunk them in the pond. On the opposite side of the inn, you'll find Whipping Post Lane. And I think you can guess what went on there. It was also the site of the village stocks. The Wishing Face. In a book written in 1962 by Doreen Viente called Where Witchcraft Lives, Doreen claims that at one point the date 1306 was visible below this eroded goblin face. The little goblin face in the wall of the Garden of Elms, according to folklore, was that if you rub its nose and make a wish it will come true. 
The origin of the goblin is unknown, but the rumours claim that it came from the rubbled remains of St. Margaret's Church's restoration. To date, its origin has eluded local historians. And the rules are that you make a wish, turn around three times clockwise, not against the sun, and it'll come true. The Floating Nun. St. Martha's Convent was first started by a group of nuns back in 1903. It's alleged that the grounds are haunted by a nun who has been seen seated on the wall outside. The apparition has also been seen floating along the main high streets in the early hours of the morning. The Malevolent Voice. The final and most bizarre tale to come out of the village took place only recently as 2018. One winter's night, while sleeping, a local resident to the village was plagued by an unwanted visitor. It's alleged that the creature whispered into her ear a deviant plan. In the morning, the resident developed an overwhelming urge to partially block the Rotten Dean High Street with a huge box planter. Convinced that stopping the flow of traffic would combat climate change, the actions of the possessed resident only caused chaos, disruption and a near fatal car crash. The outcome led only to a rise in emissions gridlock traffic and pollution but somewhere in a dark corner of Rottingdean a cretin will be sitting gleefully proud of the chaos it has inflicted on the community. <laughs>